Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, the wine today, Les Eminades Montmajou uh, saint chinian Blanc 2012. Is Les Eminades the name of the, um, the cuvee or the wine? Uh, per, uh, mise en bouteille, au domaine Patricia et Luc Bottoni. Um, so uh, leseminard.fr is the website, so Les Eminard must be the web uh, by the uh, producer. Uh, made from Grenache Blanc and Marsan. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, I like the smell of this. It's one of those that's uh, got that slightly salty um, when they've handled oxidation well. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, well, I think what's happened is that they've not been afraid to let the, uh, uh, the juice uh, that's, uh, that's uh, crushed uh, from, from the grapes get a little bit dirty before they, uh, they set it off fermenting. And uh, they've not been too zealous about uh, uh, getting, uh, opening their barrels and letting the air in and doing the stirring. So at one point, you've got this, you've got this characteristic where the juice that went in started to oxidise a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a little bit brown when it started fermenting. Wouldn't, I hope they barrel fermented it. This is, this is what my entire argument here is built on. Um, but then once it's in the barrel, they haven't really done too much to the barrel. They've just let the barrel sit there, do the fermentation, go on, and then not let, and then, 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 then yes, yeah, sealed it up and let the wine age in a reductive, uh, it's too much information for you, in a, in, in a reductive manner. So you're getting these, these slightly salty, um, a bit of sulfury characters going on in there, and um, it, it smells, it, it, it's a smell that um, quite a lot, of, I think the Burgundians probably got there, but uh, uh, got there first, but a lot of other people around the world are now, uh, are now doing wines in this style, but um, I, I associate this, uh, if I think of the south of France, more with Roussillon than uh, saint chinian but uh, this smells pretty good. Anyway, better taste it, haven't I? Yeah, and it's that, it's got what I call briny tension. Um, the, when I think of those two grapes, uh, Grenache is the sort of quite big plump one. Marsan is the one that's got um, maybe the floral fra fragrance and a little bit more fruit. So you are getting the fruit in there. Um, and it's on that's quite exotic, things like quince and uh, pear, peach. Uh, but then this um, savoury, salty, sulphury character as well. So and the S's in there uh, that just makes it yummier. And so the finish you're left with is quite lean and fresh. It's a, it's a rich wine, but uh, with this um, lovely... T tapering is the wrong word, but just lovely taut finish and uh, makes me want to go away and uh, uh, and drink rather a lot of it. So uh, the problem is I've got a few other wines to uh, to film first, so uh, it's going to have to wait for a few hours. But um, I think actually the wait will probably do it even will do it uh, uh, no harm at all. So I'm looking forward to drinking some more of that. See you soon.